Okay, so, uh, those of you in the group who are plumbers, we'll probably immediately see what the problem is here. So this would be a galvanized pipe fitting hooked directly to copper. Well, brass here, but a copper pipe. Um, that immediately sets up a corrosion cell. Uh, a lot of the, we moved into a new house recently and, uh, a lot of the, um, well, all the plumbing was hooked, uh, galvanized to copper, galvanized to copper to galvanized to copper in multiple places. And it was causing all sorts of corrosion. Uh, as you can see, these valves are just coming apart. I mean, look at that guy. And this is on the cold water side too. Normally you see that kind of corrosion on the hot water side, just cause the heat speeds up you know how fast corrosion happens but i figured we would just go ahead and take these valves apart Ugh, gross and see how bad they actually are yeah i mean this thing's so corroded i can't even get it apart Let's see if i can get in there with a screwdriver and get that screw to come out oh wow it's actually turning. Yeah, I mean, you can see, looks like the top of that, that was at least like brass coated or something. Man, there's not even a nub left in that screw. Well, all right, so there's the O-ring out of there. That thing is hard as a rock. Yeah, that's not doing any ceiling. Uh, man, I wish I could get this thing to actually come apart. Yeah, so there's the ceiling lip there. And I can't even describe, like this feels like it's not even rubber anymore. Um, the brass actually is holding up surprisingly well. You can see on the inside though, there's a bunch of like built up rust and stuff like that. Um, that's gonna be pickup from those pipes. Um, yeah, I can't get this screw off, unfortunately. Um, but um, I'm actually kind of surprised that uh, the innards of the valve are not worse than they are. I guess that goes to show you brass versus copper here. Um, Smells funky. So this is the copper pipe. It actually doesn't look too bad. Um, we'll cut it and look a little closer to where it Eh, still not terrible. Even up closer to the galvanized. The galvanized, however, you can see is just flaking off like nobody's business. Yeah, and that's where that valve was. See all the corrosion here? Yeah, just chunks of rust. And of course all that was coming off in the water and clogging up all the appliances and, you know, screwed up the washing machine, all that crap. So anyway, and <laughs> ironically, this is a dielectric union um, this is meant to separate, uh, there's like a rubber washer in here. It's meant to separate galvanized from copper so that you can actually do this because it's when they're in direct contact that you're going to have issues like was right here. Um, and as you can see, they definitely were having issues. Uh, so yeah, someone clearly just had no clue what they were doing. This was some, you know, homeowner, no clue what was going on, but 
Anyway, uh, hopefully that's uh, informative to someone. Galvanize the copper. Don't do it. Thanks for watching.